when you open to genesis chapter 1 and read verse 2 and verse 3 it says the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and then goes further and says and the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters look at this there's darkness there's void there's without form that means there's chaos but what makes the difference here is that the spirit of god was hovering over the face of the waters and in verse 3 it says then god said so we see there in verse 2 the spirit of god is hovering over chaos there is no form there is confusion and the second thing is god speaking and we know what happened next right we saw out of this chaos out of confusion out of darkness beauty came forth why because one is the spirit of god was hovering over that place and two is the word of god was spoken over that place you know when you are going through your darkness when you are going through confusion when you are going through chaos when there's nothing seen before you you feel hopeless let the spirit of god hover over you and how can he hover over you is when you just sit and let him have his way when you begin to spend time daily and tell him god do what you want upon my life just come upon me come upon me flow in me and then through me and two is let the word of god dwell richly within you keep letting that word get deeper and deeper within you and suddenly out of chaos out of darkness out of that confusion out of that situation of hopelessness you will begin to see beauty arise come on we need to let god have his work upon us remember it's not you and i that can bring forth beauty it is only when you and i sit in his presence let his spirit move upon us let his word dwell richly within us we will see things shift around us amen so today as we get into the presence of god as we get into worship as we get into the word remember it is in him it is through him alone that we have life let his spirit have his way in us and let his word work within us amen